Hi, happy, happy Thursday. Happy Throwback Thursday to you. How are you today? Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, how you doing? Richly connected. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. To all my replay viewers, thanks for coming in, sharing the information, tapping that screen and sharing the love. You're so greatly appreciated. To all my current viewers, thanks for being here as well. I am Nichelle with 2XL with Nichelle.com. I help you start, market, and grow by providing you with inspiration to help uplift you you and to let you know yes it is possible motivation to help push you to that next level and information to say look this is what I need to do to get started and move from point A to point B yes you need inspiration motivation and information in order to get to your next level and I Nichelle Womack provide that for you welcome to each and every one of you hey McCoy Cindy for coming in greatly appreciate you for being in my space so yes remember I told you my time here on Periscope is every day, Monday through Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, unless life happens. And right now, life is happening. I'm with my youngest son, my 17-year-old. He is a freshman going to college, and so we're in some preparation mode at this particular moment. So I wasn't able to get on at my schedule time between 3 and 5, but I'm here right now. So I wanted to let you know, life does happen. Don't make that an excuse for things that you cannot do because you still should do them because life is going to continue to happen especially if you are on the progressive end of moving up to that next level in your life but separation is necessary for growth yes life will happen but separation is necessary for growth so let me just share with you my 17 year old as I mentioned is going to college so in our conversation for that next transition in life we're talking about separation separation anxiety from being away from home because he's never been away from home and then a separation that you're going to have to exclude yourself from some people so elevation requires separation so now that you are elevating to another level you're going to have to separate yourself from that mindset of people who want to stay on the level you were on before do you hear me did you understand what I said welcome to each and every one of you coming into the room now I greatly appreciate you so elevation requires separation when I thought about this quote and I really understood the, the manifestation of it, see, it's all about manifestation, moving yourself from one state to another state. I thought about the fact that we really have to understand why we must sell, uh, separate. Why must we separate? We must separate because separation gives us the opportunity to grow. Whatever level we're in, it gives us the opportunity to grow. So if you are on the mode of elevation, you must understand that separation is necessary. Separate yourself from mediocre people. See, a lot of you guys are not where you want to be in life right now for the simple reason because you have not separated yourself from that negative uh, inspiration that's in your life. Perhaps maybe that person that's telling you you're not going to get to that next level. Perhaps maybe that person that said you'll never be married before or perhaps maybe that person said you never have a child and things of that. Like you have not separated yourself then that's why you have not elevated. And so if you want to elevate to that next level in life you have to learn to separate yourself from some things and some people say hey baby. How you doing? Yes. And so that is my 17 year old and he is in transition of moving to that next level of being a college freshman. And each one of us have a next level in our life as I share with you all the time. And each one of us has new things that are ready to bud in our life. So so just think about it from this perspective. If you are a plant, okay, you know, in order for a plant to grow and get its manifestation and its ability to be able to bloom, you have to have a seed implanted in the ground. You must also water it and the sunlight is its food in order to fulfill its nutrition. And so if you want to move to that next level, in order for it to separate itself from being like every other plant in the garden, it needs that special attention. It needs that love. It needs that consideration so that it can grow and manifest into the beautiful blooming station that it wants to be, that it should become. And so in life, it's necessary to separate yourself, mindset, spirit, whole totality, tot I'm making my own words up, <laughs> totality of your body so that you can move into the next realm of your life yes 
what's going on life <laughs> life is going on and if you just go back to the beginning of the scope you will hear what my message entailed as i stated elevation requires separation so if you want to get to the next level in your life that quote is very significant in the transformation in your life in the transition of your life if you want to get there you got to separate from the things that continue to hold you back sometimes it's people some people have not started that business why because they're hanging around those people that have have never started a business in their life before some people are not married why because they still hanging around single people they still have that single mindset if you want a relationship yes amen you need to hang around the people that are doing what you want to do yes that's what elevation is hanging around the people that you want to do Jim Rohn says it's best all the best all the time you are the sum of the five people that you hang around all the time so if you hang around those broke people you're gonna be broke as well it's true it's proven if you want to be positive you need to hang around people that are giving you positive inspiration and motivation in your life to help you get to that next level if you need to want to start a business you need to hang around business people so that you learn what they're doing and what to do and what not to do it's just a reality of it elevation requires separation true yes it is jerome thank you for being here and so when you know better, as Maya Angelou has stated famously, you learn to do better. When you know better, you learn to do better. So in order to do better, you must hang around those people that are doing what you want to do. Elevation requires separation. And in that separation, you will see that you will begin to manifest in your greatness if you are around what you want to be or become. It's a necessary component of growth. Growth is not easy. It's not easy at all. In fact, it hurts. Growth hurts so bad sometimes because when you are separating from that, yes, when you are separating from what you are used to, that growth begins to start to rupt rupture <laughs> rupture your life it begins to start taking away from the necessity or the necessary things that you thought you need to have when you begin to grow it's a painful process but you cannot elevate if you don't separate from that what continues to hold you back yesterday i talked about lack is lack holding you back the same thing with elevation requires separation if your lack component is not fulfilled then you will continue to see yourself not elevating Yes, you will continue to see that. Change your habits. Yes, you must change your habits and you must take risks, Jerome. That is a necessary component of growth and elevation for people that don't never take risks. So you see the richest people in the world, they take risks. And I forgot, I forgot the guy's name, but I heard today that someone has passed Bill Gates up as far as one of the richest people in the world. And yes, money is not everything, but I tell you, as I say all the time, you can't do nothing without it. If you want to elevate yourself, your family, you must learn to do things of ownership the word of God says that we should own land we should own the things that he has preserved for us in this universe and if you are a borrower more so than um, a lender then you will find yourself always down I don't like to take risks I always check everything. it's good to check everything Jerome don't just jump into stuff yes you should always prepare to be of the mindset of looking to see if that risk that you're taking if it's going to be good for you hello if that risk is going to be good for you I'm not just telling you to jump off but I'm telling you to be more of a risk taker so that you don't be so scared change can be painful or scary but it needs to be done yes it does need to be done because if you don't do it you will find yourself still stuck in a situation that you were in six months ago it's necessary elevation requires separation and in that separation you're going to get that risk that you need to take to bloom to your next level to develop to your next level it's a necessary component and so when I am talking about, yes, that's right. When I am talking to my clients and we're talking about what do you want to do? What are your goals, your objectives? When you're talking about if it's something that you want to do, you want to start this business, write this book, or even just change your career. You know, entrepreneurship is not for everybody, but for the people that it is for, then we're talking about game plans. You got to have a game plan. My son plays basketball. He's 6'6 six, six, and still growing. <laughs> yes, both my boys play basketball and every time before they get on that court they have a game plan who they're defending who's going to defend them who they're playing the strategies that they're going to do how to know it's going to be better you got to know not to lose what you might gain that's true that is so true 
so in everything though in order to gain something you got to lose something okay so if you are on that weight loss journey if you want to lose weight you're going to have to gain the confidence to go out there and work out all the time if you want to live a healthier lifestyle you're going to have to let that fatty foods go and start eating healthy foods if you want to get your mindset elevated so you can get to that next level you're going to have to elevate educate yourself some more and stop thinking you know everything see that's what i'm saying a lot of us don't have what we desire because we're not really we're not enabling ourselves to separate from that that we need to great things require sacrifice amen yes they do they require sacrifice for us to get to that next level and so what is your next level because each and every one of us has one and if you don't know what it is my suggestion is that you go back to the drawing board and figure it out parlez-vous français you got to go back to the drawing board and recognize that what is for you, you need to plan accordingly. See, God will give you the road map. Yes, he will. But you got to have some kind of idea. He all he equips all of us for righteousness, for the things that he has blessed us to do. He will give you the road map if you have the idea of where you're trying to go. And so if you want to start that business, then you need to hang around people and get education from people who have already started some businesses. You trust God. Yes, I do. That's the <laughs> look. OK, I trust God before I trust man. Yes, I've been married for 21 years together with my husband, 26. And I trust God before I trust my husband. Because, see, that's how the structure of business works in life for success. God, family, business. Yes. And that's how you have to put it in your perspective. In order for you to have success, you must have order in your life. And that order comes for God. Because as I said, he will give you a road map. But you got to have a decision that you are ready to take yourself and your life to that next level. And it's only one way there. Making that decision. And in that decision, then you start taking action. And then from that action, you start to see manifestation taking place in your life. It is possible. I am a witness that possibility does exist. Okay? Yes. He's the God of order. God does not like confusion. So if you are of confusion, you are not of God. Because he does not like confusion. <laughs> yes. That is so true, Jerome. Yes. And so my message for you today. Life is happening to me right now because I'm getting ready to become an empty nester. Come on with that manifestation. Yes, ma'am. Come on with it. Yes, deliver it so you can receive it. Okay. And so with that being said, life is going to continue to happen. Either you're going to make excuses for it happening and try to find every reason why it's happening to you. You need to buy an apartment. I procrastinate. You need to buy an apartment building. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. That's part of wealth building. Yes. Getting some real estate and owning it. Owning it. Land. God says we should own land. There you go. There you go. That's, the, that's the, the husband. The head of the house right there. Yes. So text your daddy real quick. Yes. And so my point to you is because I know I'm going to be caught off because he does this to me all the time. He knows that I'm doing my scope and he'll cut in. But see, that's the first priority there. That's why I tell you life happens to me. So I have to go into the order of God. I have to put him first and then my family. And then his is my business right here. This is third. Yes. Hello. How you doing? And so with that being said, if you are not ready to take that next level up, if you are afraid, at least I look happy. Yes, look and being are two different things. And I'm very happy. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Dr. Shockers, how you doing? Thanks so much for being here. Yes, look and being are two different things. People look all kinds of ways. People look a certain way, but they may not necessarily be. See, happiness comes from you. Nobody else. Yes, so beautiful. Nobody else should. Nobody mm -hmm. else can make you happy if you don't make yourself happy. Thank you, Dr. Shockers, for sharing this information. Elevation requires separation and if you are ready to elevate in your life you have to make the decision nobody else but you and once you make that decision it will be the best decision that you make in your life because separation equals growth and in that growth process, you will start to bloom in areas that you never thought you would bloom in before. You will start to develop the mindset that you can do anything you set your mind to. Yes, you will. And you, I promise you, once you start reaping what you are sowing, you will see that your blessings are in store for you for greatness. Each and every one of us is entitled, entitled, <laughs> entitled to greatness. And that greatness belongs to you. But you got to make the decision. 
elevation requires separation. Yes, life is happening. And it's going to keep on happening if you're living, okay? If you're living, life is going to keep on happening. Amen, Dr. Shakas. But what you, what you must know and understand how to do is you must adjust accordingly. And when you adjust accordingly, you will fall in line. Yes, you will. So the elevation can be your moment of your separation for, into greatness. Yes, it is. You have to separate from what does not make sense in order for you to find out what does make sense. Separate yourself from ignorance, mediocrity, okay? Separate yourself from that because, see, God has something great for you. And only you can answer to his calling. And in his calling, he will help you identify whatever it is that you are weak in in your life. He will show you your strength. And in your strengths, you will develop that elevation effort to get into that next level. What does your son think about what you say? Um, he just went to go throw something in a trash can. But that's a great question, Jerome. I'm going to have him as soon as he come back. Hopefully he'll hurry up and come back here. I'll have him answer that because that is really a great question. I, You know, because I just got through fussing at him. <laughs> Prior to me getting on here, I just got through fussing at him and he says mommy fusses all the time. And the reason why I fuss is because I love him. I love both my boys. I have two boys and I want them to be the great people or person that God has for them to be. And so I'm happy. That's a great question. I'm so happy that you asked that because I want him to give you his honest opinion. He's 17 years old. He's very opinionated. That, um, my audience wants to know, what do you think about the message that I just shared? Honestly, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was eating. I'm hungry. He was hungry. So what do you think about what mom says to you all the time? Motivates me. Huh? It motivates me. It motivates you for what? Greatness. See, look. He said it motivates him for greatness. He didn't even hear me. He just got back in the car. <laughs> Jerome, look. He just got back in the car. So I'm motivating you for greatness. Is that what you're saying? That's what I said. Man. Okay, that's what you said. And so with that being said, what are my expectations of you? Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Nothing less, right? Yes. Okay, so what do you believe that God has for you? Um, I got to do it myself, but he's going to help me out. He going to help you out? Okay, okay. Yes, elevation needs separation. Yes. So that is the, those are the words of my 17-year-old. You see, I didn't, that's not nothing. He just got in the car and he said, I expect the best from him. So everything that I share, I'm a testimony and a living example because I preach this in my house. He is bored and obey. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's just a laid back kind of guy, Jerome. Seriously, you know, you talking to him. Uh, let's see what excites him. Uh the only thing that, look, the only, look, Dr. Dr. Shockers, look, the only thing that excites, tell people what excites you, baby. Look into the camera. Basketball, clothes, and females. <laughs> Basketball, clothes, and females, Jesus, okay? Look, look, he's the females. He is a boy. He's a real boy. Yes, 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 yes. He said, does your mom speak a lot? Too much. <laughs> <laughs> look, he said too much. Look, okay, he's getting look. Okay, now wait a minute. All righty then. So again, that is my life. My life evolves. <laughs> my elevation is in lifting what belongs to me, what God has instilled in me and blessed me with. And children are a blessing, and I don't take it for granted. Yes, he's just like your seventeen-year-old. Yes, <laughs> clothes, basketball, and shoes. That that's it. That's his mindset. And I'm like, look, you, you got as long as you out there making it. Because, see, I, I'm speaking life over this one right here. He's going to the league. You will see him in the NBA. Him and my other son, both of them are going to play professional ball. So just keep looking out. See, right now, people don't, they don't like you when you're in the process of making it. When you haven't reached that pinnacle. Your son told you his goal's not helping. Oh, bless, you best believe I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. As I mentioned to you, I normally come on between three and five. But the most important aspect, yes, he will make it. I promise you that. Cause he know I, as he just said, I don't expect anything less. Okay, so he's going to make it. You will see both my kids in the NBA very soon. What's that man's son? Uh, I'm speaking on him like he be doing uh, ball. Yes, uh, I'm not going to be like uh, Mr. Ball, <laughs> but I'm telling you for sure, you will see my children on TV very soon in some form of athletic capa uh, capacity because both of them are very good. And I'm speaking over that. Thank you so much, Jerome. I greatly appreciate you. You will see them at the next level. See, people don't pay attention to you when you're grinding and you're coming up. They just look at you and they're looking at you like, oh, 
oh, okay, they just doing something. But I tell you, you will see, and then everybody want to follow you then. Everybody want to follow you when they see you've already made it. But people don't know how you've been getting through them trenches. See, this one right here, that 6'6 six, six guy right there, when he was younger, they were like, oh, he can't play. And then he started growing. And then when he was like in junior high, dude was knocking trays down like it was nothing. And then in high school, what did you win by your senior year? What do you mean what I win? Your defense. Uh, nah, you? I got defense player of the year, first team all conference. Yes, first team NBA bound, first team all conference, and defensive player of the year. And then my oldest son, he won all kind of trophies his senior year in high school. He was defensive player of the year. What else did your brother win? I don't know. He was all conference and all of that. Both my kids. So my point is, and they told Steph Curry. Let me bring him up. They told Steph Curry when he was a junior in college that he would never make it because he couldn't dribble. Yes, they did. They told Steph Curry that. And so people will poison your mind. Thank you so much. It ain't me. It's God. It's, it's God, Dr. Shockers. It's God. He's the one that's elevating them. He just put me in their lives to help guide them. Okay. I, I'm using what God has for me. <laughs> yes. So my mom method worked. I like to think it does. I like to think it does. But see, I go with the guidance and the instruction of God. I read what he tells me in his word. And then from there, I take that leadership and move forward. And so my greatness comes from God and then instilling that in my children because I want them to be examples of what I've taught them when they get their own kids and when they get married. I'm not an excellent parent because, see, they don't give you a book to be a parent, okay? <laughs> when they popped out of my stomach, I, oh, they popped out. Yes, they didn't give me a book to say this is what parenting requires. You had to go by example and just from mess up. You know, I've messed up being a parent sometime too, but I've learned as well. And I, what kind of parent have I been? Great. Huh? Great. I've been a great parent. And he ain't lying because this is this the honest one here. My oldest, he'd be like, yes, mom. You know, but both of my kids, they're mama's boys. And I love my boys with all my heart. I would do whatever it takes to make sure they're successful because I love them that much. God blessed them with me. And so I'm the steward of that. Yes, well, yes. Back, <laughs> yeah, he ready now. So. <laughs> all righty then. Well, that is my message for you today. If you are not connected with me, my name is Nichelle Womack. And I am here on Periscope every day, Monday through Friday. Friday between 3 and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes, Dr. Shockers, thank you so much. You can connect with me by touching that little Perry dude. If you find this information valuable, please share it because sharing is caring and I promise you somebody else needs to be separated so that they can elevate in their life because life is going to continue to happen. And then... If you are of mindset of positivity and you like inspiration, some information and some motivation, connect with me on Instagram. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. You better speak too, okay? See, look, if God blessed you with a gift, you better use it. Look, unwrap your gifts. And that's my gifts to talk. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Okay. And so, yes, if you are of positive mindset of inspiration, motivation, and you want some information to help elevate you in your life, check me out on Instagram. Twitter and Facebook at Nichelle Womack. You can't speak that much. Open your mouth. <laughs> Open your mouth, Jerome. You can do a lot of things. You see, you saying can't already. So I already know where your mindset is. All right. Because see, can't does not exist in my vocabulary. Can't. Everything that I can do is through Christ. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And Jerome, you can too. But see, you got to recognize it before you can live it. All right. <laughs> Amen. Okay. If you like that positive inspiration, yes, we can. You can connect with me, as I said, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Nichelle Womack. The link in my bio, please check that out. I got some tools up there if you're interested in starting a business, anything life-related. I can help you out. Check the link out in my bio. Until next time, Dr. Chakas, Dr. Chakas, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming on. Jerome, I thank you for your communication with you and Dr. Chakas. And to each and every one of you, be blessed and highly favored in everything that you do. Until next time, I'll see you see you tomorrow between 3 and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time unless life happens and then if life happens I'm going to see what I can do to kind of get on there but take care blessings and peace unto you bye-bye thanks for the hearts and the shares take care thank you Dr. Shakas God bless you thanks Jerome bye <laughs>